In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, calculating the cube root of a number using the TI-83 Plus and the TI-84 families of calculators. Most graphing calculators are fairly close to the same, and so if you follow this, you'll probably be able to pick up. If you use a scientific, you usually have to put the, num the radicand in first and then press the, the appropriate uh, button. But here we go. To access the cube root function, what we need to do is we need to go into the math menu. So we're going to press the math button, and you'll see option four contains the cube root of. And so we can e either press four, or we can scroll down and press enter. And that's going to activate the cube root. And you'll see the little three out in front. After that, we simply put in our radicand, which is this number right here. This is our radicand. The 3 is our index, and so we've already got that index in there, and we have the radicand, and we just press enter, and that gives us, uh, that gives us our answer. So the cube root of 64 is 4. Now, unlike square roots, the cube root of negative numbers are negative. There's no imaginary roots. And so we look at this, and we say, okay, well... Let's go into or go press our math button and we scroll down or press number four. If you press number four, it will automatically select it and boot you back to the home screen. Put in negative five, making sure to use the negative sign, not the minus sign. Press enter. And there's your answer. And again, if it's not perfect, then it's going to be an irrational number, and therefore you're going to get an infinite number of decimals and they're not going to repeat. 